There's reporting the news and then there's blatantly lying saying someone was in prison for crime when they weren't. My name's David Otto. I get lied about by Channel 9 and their papers a lot. So I'm here to disprove each one of their lies so we can be friends again, destroy them and take their money. There's a lot of lies about me on there. They've been at it for about five years now. And we're going to disprove all of them. Even the ones a corrupt court agreed with them about in 2019 to make me look bad to you. It's just what they do. By my count, there's a total of 15 articles by the Nine Group and their close associates, and one set of Facebook posts by one of their journalists. That's it. I'd like to take you on a journey with me to break apart the words they use to describe people and see what they really mean. So let's look at their first article, Ticket Con. They claim all kinds of crazy things, so we're going to look at what each nasty word they use means, show you why that's not true, and show you why each claim is false by showing you evidence the material opposite is true. So they called my breakthrough career event a ticket con. So what does that mean? What is a con? What does that word really mean? So Google has a dictionary function that links to the Oxford Dictionary. So let's use that for this. Google says it means to persuade someone to do something, in this case buy a ticket to see me play, by lying to them. So what was the lie according to the show and their lawyers? They went on to say that the event I was preparing, one of hundreds in my career set for October 16th, was never intended to be put on in any form before I even started. That in their journalist words, the idea was to do a runner. So by that, they mean to persuade you that I had, after 20 albums and hundreds of performances, most of them for free, just to promote myself because I love playing music, that apparently I had no intention of ever putting on or playing at an event that I was actually very much, very much looking forward to playing at as a singer. They then used one of my video clips of me singing in the article, but stripped away all the music and imagery of me actually singing to trick you. That's what the actual con was. They were trying to persuade you to not trust me or buy tickets to my events by lying to you about my personality and intentions then hiding from you that I've been a lifetime performing musician since I was a little kid. It's actually very hard to promote an event in an unknown artist's name. But you do that because you're trying to build yourself up as an artist and get people to know your music. But it ain't no shortcut to selling out an event. It's the hardest work you can do. But it's the most legitimate work you can do because now you're being able to perform as an artist where you can play your songs, your competitions at that, your, your compositions at that event. And I'd played before to a thousand, two thousand, five thousand people, and I was really looking forward to blasting my rock music to twenty thousand in that stadium. If you want to see samples of the music, go to davidottoempire.com. That's the twenty albums of music that I've written before this to make sure I've got enough material to fill out a show like that. With me as the singer playing guitar, and then I've got Kitty on drums, and the other girls who play guitar, bass, guitar, and synth, and other guitars. It's really a, a rock sound that we wanted to play at that event. Now they're in a mess to explain themselves because why would a musician with all this music who plays for free to promote himself all the time sell tickets to a concert of his own music that he, according to them, has no intention of putting on or playing at? It's a stupid thing to say. The fact is, it doesn't make sense because it's a lie. It's a lie to make you not want to buy tickets to my shows, plain and simple. So, what if that doesn't stop a guy like me because you're legit AF about playing to stadiums? So they needed to add more and they knew it. So this is the other stuff they then added on. So to lie number two in this first article. They had to get at my actual sales methods, not just at my fans' trust of my brand. So line number two was that people who helped me to promote these supposed fake events, in, in their opinion, even though new guests always came to a free house party event first to showcase the music, that apparently they were never paid and at the same time only ever got $20 for helping out to promote the weekly fake event that they'd already been to. It's all just bullshit by Channel 9 designed to make you not want to buy tickets to my unique events, even if you enjoyed them.